we are headed East Texas towards Bimmons, Texas. Got some friends out in Boggy Creek Outfitters. They got a you know 40 acre high fence reserve for wild hogs, feral hogs, and uh, we're headed out there with some big bore guns, and we're going to get us some hog. Absolutely, and we are excited for it. We've got about just under 800 miles to, uh, to get the Bivens, and uh, let me tell you, it's going to be a long drive. All right, so we just got in here. We're at Boggy Creek Outfitters. And it's humid. And it's, yeah. It's, and these are the new Gamo Big Boar. These are the, these are so close to being absolutely what you're gonna see. Where I wouldn't call them prototypes. I'd call them like generation one, and we're just waiting for the finals to come around. This is a 35 cal, that's a 35 cal. We're looking for hogs in that sub 100 pound range. We don't wanna try and take one too big. I don't think these guns are suitable for that. But anything under 100 pounds, I think, is open season. Right? Absolutely. So we are going to get set up and uh, see what we can get. Stay with us, guys. All right, guys, we are out. Boggy Creek Outfitters. I've got the new Winchester Hunter, at least that's what I'm calling it. I don't know that it's been officially named yet, but this is Gamo's uh, new big bore. It's probably going to have a different stock when it finally hits the market, but uh, all in all, man, this is one sweet, sweet, sweet rifle. We're going to see if we can get a, a medium sized pig today with this. It's in the regular JSB 35 cal pellets. They don't have any expansion, so it's really got to be a, a very precise shot. Today I'm going to go for a vital shot, try to take out both lungs and the heart if I can. I think that's going to be the cleanest way to put these things down. Stay with us. we got a great day of hunting coming your way. That big one up front? Flat. Yep. Yeah, I got him. Aaron, he's on you. You're on him, man. Go in the back. Go in the back. Hey guys, just took a small hog here. It's probably 35 pounds, not real big. Using the new Gamo or Winchester Hunter here. We've been tracking these things all day. They're really not giving us the shots we want. In fact, I, I took somewhat of a chance shot with this one. He was on the run. Now, I'm pretty familiar with exactly the, how long the pellet's gonna fly, so I could judge the distance pretty good. And sure enough, I did make a good kill shot on this guy. So pretty happy with what we're getting out of this right now and uh, see what else we can do today. Hey guys, I know you guys are watching this new episode on the Gamma Big Boards. So let me tell you a little bit about how all this came to be. So we took some prototypes out because I knew Gamma wanted to get some new big bore guns. We knew this, we talked about it, we wanted to bring big bores to the market. So we took our prototypes out and we tested and tested and tested and we took all of that data and we distilled it down into these final products. And what you're watching on the video today are the prototypes, but I wanna to talk to you guys about what we have here because these are way better than we shot on the video for the prototypes. So the thing that was really cool uh, for me in this whole series is this gun right here. This is a Winchester 45. What I wanted in a, in a multi-shot big bore rifle, I wanted that traditional styling. This is just all Winchesters. You can look at this stock, gorgeous wood stock. Just everything about this is traditional hunting. 
side lever action, five shot magazine. The magazine is deep enough that it holds some pretty good size ammo. It'll hold these uh, 138, 150 grain and 200 grain different projectiles right in the magazine, no problem. And it shoots all those really well. We've tested this, really I've spent a lot of time testing this with the 138 and the 150 grain pellets. Now the reason I like those is you get a ton of velocity. So you get a lot of velocity and you also get a nice flat surface for impact. So that it doesn't take a long time for the projectile to get there and when it does get there, all of that energy gets dumped into the animal. That's why I like this gun so much. Now we're gonna take a step back to look at this beast right here. We didn't actually have this on the road with us. We were working with that one right there. That's the Gambo TC35. That's what Aaron's shooting in this video. That, we didn't have to do much to that. That thing just is straight awesomeness, period. It shoots pellets, it shoots round ball, it shoots 105 grain semi wide cutters, which is what we're using in the video. It even shoots all the way up to the 190 grain pellets from Hunter Supply, and that's gonna give you 170 foot-pounds out of that gun. And these big bottles that you fill to 250 bar, these things give you a lot of shots. And that gun, running lighter pellets, round ball, or like the JSB pellets, you're gonna be getting 20, 25, 30 shots out of that gun. That's out of a big bore gun. That's incredible. Now when you step up to the 45, this monster right here, 400 foot-pounds, about 407 is what we're getting, shooting the 350 grain uh, Hunter, Hunter Supply cast bullets. This thing is a beast. It is suppressed, so it's not as loud as an unshrouded, unsuppressed 45. You're not gonna get the kind of shot count we're getting out of that, because you're just pushing so much lead. It, it, it's gonna give you three solid hunting shots. Again, 400 foot-pounds. Now, when I've done my testing, I get three shots that just stack, and then the fourth and fifth shot drop a little bit, but then they stack there for a while, then you just see it start to drop. So you don't get that high shot volume, but you do get the power. So if you're looking for something big caliber and big power, this is your gun right here. Again, over 400 foot pounds. These things are really nice. One of the things that I love most about like this and also the TC35 is they're very light. This gun with a scope, maybe eight and a half pounds. That gun with a scope, maybe about six and a half pounds. So if you want something light, tactical, easy to maneuver and control, these guns are really good. Now the last gun I'll talk about right here is the production model of what I was hunting with. I was shooting a multi-shot 35 cal. As you can see, the stock is different. Same stock as you get on the 45. What they've done is we knew that we needed a little more power and I wanted more capacity. So we extended the barrel and we also extended the cylinder. So you get more volume, a longer barrel gives you more power. So we're getting 132 foot-pounds out of this. Now the shot count is really what I wanted to see out of the 35, because again, so many of the big bores, they just drop, 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 drop. I wanted consistency. I see this as a small, well, like a small big game gun. So let's say a small deer or smaller hogs or really that predator gun, that's your gun. Now if you're gonna go out hunt predators, you may get the opportunity to take more than one shot. So you want more shots. That's what that gun gives you. It's gonna give you that good shot consistency, good shot count. We're looking at two solid mags, which is 12 shots. Again, in a big bore gun, that's a lot of shots. And these guns, best part of them is out of the box, they just work. You don't need to send it off to have it tuned up. You don't need to take it over here to have work done to it. You take it out, you mount your scope, you fill it, you put your bullets in, and you go shooting, and they just work. That's what we wanted, and that's what we got. You can thank Gamo for bringing these things to market. We've got the Winchester Model 70, available in 35 and 45, and we've got the Gamo TC, available in 35 and 45. If you're looking for big board this holiday season, come over to www.airgunproshop.com. All of these are in stock and ready to go. Guys, I'm gonna let you get back to the episode because we got some more killing to do. Thanks for watching. How's it going guys, Aaron the Barbarian here. Thanks for joining us out here on the hunt at Boggy Creek Outfitters. Uh, we're sighting in these guns and getting them ready for our pig hunt. Um, I have the new Gamo Tactical. Right now we're just basically testing it out to see what it will do. I know this gun shoots well with JSBs. I'm gonna 
put a couple of them down range and get you know basic sighting in and uh, we'll go from there from there I got some 105 grains that I've been dying dying to try out we make our own 105 grains and they did pretty well in there but we got some 105s from Hunter Supply that we really want to try all right guys so I uh I was shooting a tin can out at 60, and I thought it was going to be great with these 158s. Um, hit the tin can, no problem. As soon as I switched to paper, though, my point of impact changed, and then it just it just showed that these were not as consistent as some of the other pellets. But they definitely do well with these 105s, which we have made before, we've tested before, and they just they work. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to be using the 105s for hunting pigs, and I cannot wait to get a hold of one. So I'm watching the back end. I'm watching the back end. Don't look at me. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Take one of those. You see that that spotted one? I'm on it. No, nope, no, nope, keep going. Pick one of the black behind. Yeah, I'm waiting for one to stop. <coughs> okay, you see that one? Get him. Drop. That's a clean kill. Beautiful, sir. That is a clean kill. I am happy with that one. I will take that one to the bank, to the charity, and we will feed some people tonight. So day one out in Boggy Creek Outfitters, I got me the Gamo Tactical, the carbine version. Um, stay tuned for the, uh, the full-size rifle version. Um, we got a nice size little piglet here. Um, I'd say 50, 60 pounds. That's that's uh, that's good eating right here. Uh, we had the herd come right past us, and uh, he just kind of stopped and waited, and we were probably about maybe 50 yards away, and just slammed him, and he's done. Um, let's count that one up for the uh, the Gamlo Tactical, and uh, let's go get some more. Draw. That's a clean kill. Beautiful, sir. I'm on the hog. Well, guys, I want to thank you all for watching this episode and learning more about these Gambo Big Bore guns. Again, if you're interested, www.airgunproshop.com, and you can go over and thank Gambo for bringing these things into market. We've got a couple episodes still to go this season, so stay with us. It's still a great 2017.